Hi guys, welcome back. It's been just over two months. It's the 12th of April today, which is a Saturday. Um, if you remember from my uh, Mark 7 build back in the end of January when I finished it, I said my next model kit project wouldn't be until I got my PPI. Well, guess what? Last week, my PPI came through. It was a very big, well, I wouldn't say, it was a substantial amount. So I've bought four model kits. Uh, one's turned up uh, this week, and uh, the other three are coming from America. So once I get them, I'll show you what those are in due course. Um, with the PPI that I got once I bought everything, I had to buy, I bought myself £210 worth of model kits and accessories to go with them, so I'm quite chuffed with that. And here is the first model kit. Let me just turn the camera around and I'll show you what it is. Right, there's the box. As you can see, it's the Bell Kits Ford Fiesta RSWRC model kit in 124 scale. Now, for those of you who don't know what WRC is, it is the World Rally Championship. It's a really good championship. It's normal production cars, boosted up to 300 horsepower, and they race around the world on, on um, private dirt tracks and um, gravel and um, upshelt or tarmac tracks all around the world on the various championships, but the WRC is the pinnacle. Uh, just very standard box with pictures on the side. And as you can see, it's a Ford World Rally Team M Sport official licensed product. So, cost me thirty-seven ninety-nine off eBay. I'll just balance that there. And as you can see, there you can see the various trees and the decal sheet. Uh, there's your um, cockpit without all the bits. That's the underneath of the chassis. Uh, probably side wall inside, and this little side wall. Uh, you got wheels, uh, brake discs, might be suspension bars, uh, various bits and bobs. That might be a rear bumper, maybe. Uh, dashboard there. Uh, the two, the co-driver and the driver seat, the bucket seat. Uh, that's. I think that might be bits of the roll cage. A bit more of the roll cage. And there you can there you clear parts. You've got the main uh, window screen and uh, side windows and rear screen. Uh, there might be some uh, for the from the front and rear lights. And there's your uh, spoiler and tyres and mud flaps. I think there's about eight tyres in there. I don't know why they give me eight tyres for. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you can make that out, no, I don't think you can make that out to be honest. The tyres have actually in indented to make them look like real tyres. Uh, there's your decal sheet. Really good decal sheet to be honest. Um, but I'm not going to use the Ford World Rally Team decal sheet. I've ordered some uh, decals from uh, Colorado, over at Colorado Decals in Portugal. And I've ordered the Ken Block Monster World Rally Team uh, 2011 decals for Germany, Rally Germany. So hopefully they'll turn up sometime next week with any luck. And also you've uh, got a bit of photo etch there. I don't know what that uh, blue cord is for, I don't know. And uh, there's the main body. It's a bit smaller than I expected. It is 124. But I was expecting it to be about where my finger is now from the back of the chassis. I was thinking about that big, but not to worry. Uh, and there's your instruction sheet. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they open that now. I mean, you can see. Hopefully, it's going to be fairly easy. It's a bit different to like the Revel kits that I've been using and Mobius. As your uh, uh, bucket seat section and all that. Now my only qualm with these plans, if I can find the, uh, what's the name, is there isn't a decal placement as you can see. It just gives you pictures of what the car looks like. So I'm hoping it's going to be fairly, fairly easy. I don't know if that, that those are your side pieces. Now my only qualm as well, I don't know if that's going to be one decal. And I'm hoping if it is one, if it, is, I'm hoping that it isn't. But if it is, it's going to be a bitch to slide around because it's so big. 
because when I've had decals that big, when I've tried to slide them around, they've had, they have snapped on me. So I'm hoping, sorry, not snapped, torn. I'm hoping they won't be too bad. Well, there she is, guys. Model kit one of four. So uh, stay with me. Right, my first set of my um, aftermarket stuff has arrived. Um, the second part being the Tamiya 89610 Rally Driver and Car Driver set in a 124 scale. Now I got these from, uh, from the guys over at spotmodel.com in Spain and uh, I've had a quick butchers at the actual size of each driver into the uh, bucket seats and they fit perfect right now just to test this sitting into the seat and as you can see it's a perfect fit I'm, li I'm quite liking that indeed right now just move that out of the way now, I don't know if you can make that out. You can see that the seat belts stroke three point harness has been molded into the actual body of the uh, of the driver and the car driver. There you can see that. So I'm going to use my decal because I think there's some seat belt decals on the decal sheet whether it be the aftermarket one or the Ford Road Rally Team and I'm going to put those on there. I'm quite liking the detail actually, I don't know if you can actually make it out. Really liking the detailing. Now, let me just move that out of the way. Now as you can see, I don't know if you can make that out. You've got two options. You've got an open helmet without the face guard for the two there and then you've got some rally drivers who actually wear a full face helmet so what I'm thinking about doing is actually using the open face helmet for Ken Block, the Ken Block driver and then his co-driver Alex Gelarmo or whatever his name is I'm going to use a full face helmet so I'm going to just you you know a bit of option one of each so that's that guys stay with me all right hey guys welcome back a little progress made on the fiesta and first of all um i've got to apologize for my croaky voice because i've got a bit of a cold so now my croaky voice has been sorted out right as you can see i've started on the underneath of the chassis with the uh, suspension and uh, wheel, first part of the wheel housings on all four wheels. And I'll start at the front here. You got this like black, might be an engine block maybe. And then you got the actual arms themselves. I've left them casted in the actual sprue white, and then painted those um, compre like spring things, mate, or the joinage. Uh, flanges maybe I could call them painted those in black I've also joined them onto the um, the, the well the wheel axle maybe because I don't really know much about cars so I'm just going to play it by ear my descriptions on both sides now as you can see I've mounted the uh, suspension coils on I painted the underneath in silver and then on the actual suspension coils themselves, the springs, I've painted those in red and left the channeling in silver. So I painted it, painted on the red so from the side using my brush, like a dry brushing effect. Uh, it's not perfect, but it gives it like a weathered effect as, it, as opposed to a new effect. So I'll put a still on just so you can, uh, it comes out a bit better. You've also got, as I said, you've got the the axle mounting bracket or whatever you put in. Because I put the, what I'll do eventually is I'll put the brake discs on and eventually the wheels. The tyres and the wheels. Now, I'm going to go to the plans. Now, as you can see, you can put the suspension arms and springs on 
which is in one piece onto the actual axle mounting now just underneath there is a hot there's a lock a tab and then you, there's a hole that pushes into it you might have to make that hole a little bit wider because obviously once you've because I, I primed it with some black spray paint and like I said I just made that hole a little bit wider and then I mounted it like that onto there like that uh, took a bit of took a bit of because uh, I had to put a drop of glue in there and some drop of glue on the suspension arms into the actual housing it took a bit of uh, getting getting in there like jer jiggling jer jer jiggling to bit but I managed to do it in the end and it's dried very very stiff right now you've got the main extension pipe here extension pipe exhaust pipe I should say now that actually goes underneath the the rod there you glue it into place I painted that in a steel steel silver and the actual main bottom of the chassis in a, my silver that's a steel silver and then you got I think that might be the um, crankshaft maybe I don't know so like I said I don't really know much about the workings of cars prop, prop shaft yeah so I glued the prop shaft in there and then that glues into the back of there on the back here with another suspension housing um, mechanism there also along with that I've done the same for that as well that was a bit more difficult to get in because of these black support arms I've glued, super glued those in what you're going to have to do where the join here you're going to have to widen those with your Dremel or whatever you use because like I said I primed them first and then I just made them a bit wider so I can get them in now one issue I did have with these on the back ones here when you put the suspension arms, suspension springs, stroke arms in from the bottom there to connect into there, the holes have actually been put in the wrong way. It's like a semicircle hole. So what you'll have to do is just drill, re-drill the hole, make it slightly bigger, and then glue those in. Right, so not much progress, but progress nonetheless. Stay with me, guys. <laughs> 